Hi, boys and girls. We're going to take a look at our calendar. We're into that second week of November. Remember how I showed you? There's seven days in one week. So here was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And we come down here and it starts all over. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Hmm, <gasps> what's this? Thursday. Today is Thursday in the second week of November. So let's figure out what number or date it is. Ready? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes? Yes. All right. Let's say the date together. Today is Thursday, November 12th, 2020. Good job. Now, let's figure out what yesterday was. Today's Thursday, so what comes right before Thursday on the calendar? What was yesterday? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I heard the one that starts with W right before Thursday. Wednesday. And it was the 11th. Let's see what tomorrow is going to be. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday. Tomorrow will be Friday. What number would you expect to see here? Well, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Friday the 13th. Yes, indeed. All right. We're going to talk about those groups and see which one has more or less or the same. Okay. So I put some shapes up here. Now, the way I have them put up here, it might be a little bit difficult to tell which group has more. If someone just showed you that real quick and said, which ones do you want? And you want the group that has more. It might be tough to decide that way, huh? The rectangles are bigger, but are there more of them? The, the circles are smaller, but are there more of those? Which one has more? Which one has less? Do you remember how I said we could find out? I can buddy them up and see. All right, let's give them a buddy and see. Then we'll find out which group actually has more. Hmm, did you know at, before I did that that the circles actually had more? Well, if you did, you have a good eyeball. The circles do have more. How many more? One more, right? Let's put them back the way they were and let's count and see what those numbers really are. Let's see. How many rectangles are there? One, two, three, four, five rectangles. If there was one more circle whenever we buddied them up, how many would there be there? What's five and one more? Six. I bet there are six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are. So if I wanted the same amount, say I wanted to be fair to everyone and I wanted to say, okay, I want to make sure everybody gets the same amount. Nobody gets more or less than someone else. What could I do to my groups to make that happen? I could do two different things. What's one thing I could do to my groups to make sure everybody had the same amount? Hmm. Well, we knew there was one more circle, right? So I could take one away. And then there would be one, two, three, four, five rectangles. One, two, three, four, five circles. Then those would be equal. Yeah? But... What if I didn't want to take any away? How could I still make the groups equal? What do you think? What would I have to do 
to make them both equal if there's six here and there's five here. I'd need to add another rectangle to get them to be equal. So there would be six. Let's buddy them up now and see if everybody's going to get the same amount. Yes, they will get the same amount. Both groups have six, so that would be equal. All right. All right, our letters this week are C, E, and Y. And remember, C is one of those consonants that has two different sounds. It can sound like S, S, S or it can sound like K, 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 K. Celery and cat. Both start with C and they both have those two different beginning sounds. E is a vowel, A, E, I, O, U. And it has two sounds, one long sound, one short sound. When it's short, it sounds like E, eh, E, eh, elephant. When it's long, it sounds like E, 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 eagle. Okay. Y sounds like Y, Y, yak, yarn, yam, yard. Okay, that y at the beginning. We also have two new sight words, can and you. All right. Can starts with C and you starts with Y. So we're going to use those in a sentence today. And then we're also going to use a word that starts with E that has a short E at the beginning. So my first word is can. I already told you it starts with C, right? What's that middle sound, do you think? K, A, N. K, A, N. I heard A, A, apple in the middle. A, C, A. I want to make sure my A is not that big because my, my C is a capital letter because it's the first word. Now let's see if we can figure out what's at the end. K, A, N. N, nest, net, never, n. Okay, can. My next word's you. Do you remember how to spell you? Y-O-U. Right? Leave my two finger space and put Y-O-U. Can you. Oh, I didn't tell you what my sentence was, did I? I was keeping it a surprise. It's can you eat an egg? Five words. Can you eat an egg? Which one of those words was that E word that I said we were going to use that started with eh, eh, eh? Egg. All right. Can you, oh, and guess what? This next word has a long E at the beginning. Eat. There's that long E. Eat like eagle. Can you eat an hmm, a, -n. a N? Can you eat an? Here's my other E word with a short E this time. Eh, 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 g. All right, do I have five words up here? One, two, three, four, five. Can you eat an egg? Yes, I have five words up here. All right, let's say it and then we'll know. Do we need a period or do we need a question mark? Ready? Can you eat an egg? <gasps> My voice went up at the end. I know what that means. That means I asked a question. Do you like eggs? Do you eat eggs? Well, egg starts with short E and eat starts with a long E. Remember that. So this week, you can look for some things in your house that might start with E, C, or Y. 